I'm uh, trying to clean up the entrance of my property here a little bit. Um, just make it look more presentable because I have a lot of people that come over here and they like to park in front of the gate and then they throw trash over here. I'm constantly picking up trash. They like to park right over here, throw trash. It's almost like it's a meeting place or something over here. So what I'm trying to do is I want to weed eat all this stuff, cut all that thick brush. I'm going to leave probably most of these nice pines, the ones that are real close to the barbed wire fence. I'm going to go ahead and cut those down because I don't want them growing in the fence. And I want to try to make this area right here more presentable to where it kind of looks like, you know, somebody lives here. So, uh, anyway, I've cut a few of the brushes down and uh, I'm going to get in here with the weed eater, probably the hedger because it's easier to cut some of this smaller stuff than it is with the chainsaw because this grass right here, this is that, uh, uh, what is it called? Anyway, this is a real invasive species. I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head right now. It just slipped my mind. But anyway, it gets caught up into the chain whenever I cut with all this grass up next to the trees. So I'm going to get in here with my hedger and cut those down. Use the chainsaw to cut the bigger ones down like that one over there. And these bigger pines. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set the camera over here and just kind of clean up a little bit and let you watch. <laughs>
on my ball and pin. This got lost whenever I had the loggers come in here and log the property back in February. It was about 15 feet right there in the grass. I found it when I was weed eating. So what it does, it goes, what it does, it goes in here and then the, and then the lock goes through that hole. So anyway, I was missing it. I was using this little homemade thing in the meantime, but anyway, I'm glad I found it. Right, I think this is going to wrap it up right here. Um, just cleaned up really nice around here. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a whole lot better. I still got to come back and fix that H brace over there. Because they tore that up whenever they logged. They were supposed to come over here and fix it and never did. So I was going to do it myself. So I'm going to do that and then tighten up that bar bar and then I'm going to come back and work on that side a little bit, kind of clean that up. I actually, I may start on doing that a little bit today because I still got, you know, probably an hour of daylight. I'm going to work on that, I guess. But this side looks good. Let me show you. Just in that one area right there by the gate, I picked up all this trash. Look at that. That is a lot of trash. All kind of, there's more in here than it looks like. You know, all that. That's just from people coming over here and parking by the gate. And then that tall grass, they just toss it in there. Ain't no telling what it is on that on that side right there. Ain't no telling, I'm gonna find out. But anyway, um, I was actually trying to remember the grass that I was telling you this was. This invasive species is called Kogan grass.
bit more trash than it came from over here on the left side of the gate. But that's what it looks like. Uh, I got a few more over there. That's the stake to the property line right there. I don't know if I'm pointing to it, but anyway, I got a little bit more there around there to cut some more trees and finish weed eating, and then I'm done. So it turned out nice. I'm happy with it. I'm fixing to wrap it up and call it a day and go home and eat. Thanks for watching.